evening, Karina Cavallo with ABC News. It's the Indian company touted as reviving the mining sector in Queensland and it could also potentially receive a billion dollars from the federal government. Tonight, we can reveal Adani has set up a complex company structure that leads to the world's major tax havens. Its multi-billion dollar Carmichael coal mine project would be Australia's biggest. But there are questions about how businesses, ultimately owned in tax havens, can be held to account if things go wrong. Stephen Long reports. You can follow the money trail from outback Queensland all the way to the Caribbean. The Adani Group company has such an opaque structure with entities in multiple tax havens. The advantage of having the money in tax havens is that you are able to conceal um, the source of money, the use of money, and also to minimise tax. India's Adani Group has big plans. A massive Queensland coal mine, an expanded coal port and a railway from port to mine. It's created a web of companies and trusts behind them, most ultimately owned in offshore tax havens. Ownership of the planned coal mine goes via Singapore to the tax haven of Mauritius to India. Ownership of the railway and an expanded coal port goes via Singapore to a private company in the Cayman Islands. Adani's plan to expand the Abbott Point coal terminal involves dredging near the Great Barrier Reef, raising big environmental concerns. The risks are great. Former Optus CEO Jeff Cousins knows a bit about complex company structures and he's worried. With these kind of approvals, for big mining operations or port operations, you always get a set of conditions that the government puts on. But of course, those conditions aren't worth anything. If when something goes wrong, you try to find the company responsible, either it has no money, or if it has any, it's in a tax haven where you can't reach it. The federal government is preparing to give Adani a billion dollar subsidised loan for its railway through the Northern Australia Infrastructure Facility. It's refused to say which Adani entity has applied for the loan. If the project goes ahead and then subsequently falls over, the risk to creditors for this project in Australia are extreme. The chance of getting money back from offshore is minimal. Control of one of the nation's most strategic port assets is also at stake. Adani bought the existing Abbott Point coal terminal for $1.8 billion five years ago through a company on the Bombay Stock Exchange, but it's trying to transfer ownership to a Singapore company owned in, you guessed it, the Cayman Islands. It's totally non-transparent to the Australian government as to what is going on, who owns it and who are the directors, uh, and it is to me an issue of national security. Adani's secrets are safe in the Caymans. Stephen Long, ABC News.